It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got a duel in the Lone Star State. It's the Houston Texans and the Dallas Cowboys on Monday night. We've been here so many times, and you still stand in awe at the size of this place. We're at AT&T Stadium. Welcome to Arlington, Texas. Welcome, everybody, to the booth. I'm Kate Scott, joined by Brock Hewitt for this game. And Brock, that's a fun quarterback. I know your focus is on the offensive side of the ball ahead of this kickoff. Yeah, these two offenses are so fun to watch because the best offenses in this league, Kate, they're about trust. And it just pops out. When you study them during the week on the game film, you just see it. They trust one another. That's head coach. That's coordinator. That's play caller. That's to the quarterback. And then certainly the 11 on the field. Both these groups are getting it done. Roll teed up. Brandon Aubrey after the kick. And off we go from Dallas. Here's Steven Sims with the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. And here come the Texans for their opening drive. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. It didn't take long for C.J. Stroud to make an immediate impact into the NFL. And it didn't take long for me, Kate, to form an opinion that this guy is just different. He just processes the game quicker. Remember talking to Ryan Day on the practice field in Columbus, watching him in college, and he just alluded to that as well. It's the anticipation. It is knowing where everybody is and getting that ball out before any receiver will even break on a route. CJ was unique in that way, and that skill set has been a big part of his success. He's running with it. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock, you know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm. Especially in a situation like that, it's a good thing you woke up to. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. Second and three now. Shotgun now for Stroud. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Stroud now on third. Kick to the middle, it's incomplete. Defense doubled here, knowing that was where the pass was likely headed. A bit surprising, quarterback still threw in that direction with how well that defense had that play covered. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. And I imagine they were hoping they wouldn't need to bring him out so soon into this game. And he's brought down before the return gets far. So now the Cowboys get an opportunity to send their offense out for the first time. And leading them out from Central Michigan, an undrafted free agent back in 2017, and still here, it's Cooper Rush. Don't think for a second, Kate, he hasn't heard the noise. Read the comments from the keyboard warriors who say they just want somebody else leading this team. But let me let you in on a little secret. Those criticisms, they can fuel quarterbacks. Make that chip on the shoulder even bigger to prove people wrong and to show I really do belong in this league. This drive will begin with a run from Elliott. And they had that one contained right at the line. That stop coming from Henry To'o To'o. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. You know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say, there's just times you got to run into darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Second and ten now. Cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. There's the 
importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. Cowboys putting it away here on fourth, and it's the longtime vet Brian Anger on now. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it, that one. Headed for the sideline. This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. They've got first down from the 31. From the gun, Stroud. This one quickly to Dell. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. 16 yards on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. First down, Stroud. Complete to Dell. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. Okay, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. Versus man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find the completion just like that. And look at that little line to limit the game to a yard. Eric Kendrick's there for the tackle. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Okay, this one you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. you got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. for Nico Collins. It's a gain of 29 yards. And the Texans are going to have a first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. All right, set now. First and ten. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. Launches, and he's got it! Touchdown! The Texans go up 6-0 here in the first. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. So great work by the running back there, Brock. He saw a little bit of space, took advantage, and he took it all yeah. the way for six. So good, Kate. You'll hear running back coaches say this. Slow two and then explode through. And that's exactly what he did. Slow to the hole, but explodes for the touchdown. Here's Kaimi Fairbairn on for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Texans will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Kevontae Turpin on the return. And follow him up as he gets the return to the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Off the play fake, he'll throw. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. That one came with a higher degree of difficulty. He had to balance focusing on the catch 
Ball State in bounds. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Lone back in the backfield, and he gets the handoff. They get 18 yards out of Nixon, and he set it down. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Another carry for him. And with a nice scale, he runs him down inside a field goal range. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he's dropped to just short of marker, maybe a yard away. You know, Kate, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. Battle coming up on third and inches. Here's Rush. Finds him over the middle. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. That's 16 on the pickup. And it'll be first down, Dallas. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. A new set of downs awaits them. Here's first and ten. From the red zone now. It's caught. Ferguson. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's Rush to throw. And what a risk, but he can't hang on. No interception, but nearly a turnover in the end zone. That was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, he just couldn't quite hang on. Shotgun now on third down. That'll be complete to Elliott. And he's brought down after a short game. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole. But you never want to leave it short. So fourth down brings out Brandon Aubrey to try for the Cowboys field goal. A pretty automatic look for him from the left. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. That's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team is out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. Damian Pierce now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line.
I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just gotta ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty and simplicity, right? Yeah. You know, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you gotta win right from the jump. Uh -huh. You gotta protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find paper. Fair Baron connects on the extra point. And the Texans drive their lead to 11. Turpin with a return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. They're out and set, first and 10. Rush looking to pass. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So it's second down coming up. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Rush now to throw. stop him before he gets much on the return. Well, you can just see the QB scanning, can't you? He's moving, he's looking downfield, but everything covered up on the back end. That second and third level defenders did their job, and what did it do? Well, free that pass rush up to strip the ball away from the QB. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Stroud off the play fake. This throw is caught. And in for the Houston touchdown. Great opportunity to find a touchdown there, Brock. And they come through with six. Receivers want the ball everywhere on the football field. <laughs> but you start yep. smelling the end zone, they really want their chance. And they will tell you as a quarterback, just give me an opportunity and I'll make a play. And he sure did. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Texans push their lead to 18. Baron has it all set up for the kickoff. Return starts from the 16. And they'll start this drive in good position, a little shy of the 40. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Drive starts with an option, right side. He's got to gain a six there. Look at Jimmy Ward getting up there to make that stop. He made it six on the play, bringing up second and four. 
The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, is really quick decision making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do. I got to see it up close and personal. Because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that one. And he's brought down for a loss. On these first to 10 calls, defenses are always keyed in that a run might be coming their way. And as soon as the QB turned to give the ball, the entire defense came crashing in to bury them for a loss. Offense to the line for second down. To the air with Rush. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. You know, I don't fault that look at all Cape downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Throwing, rush. The Texans close it in, and they will get him. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step trap? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Dallas sends its punting unit onto the field. On the return for the Texans, Steven Sims. No return on this one. It's going to make it out of bounds and across the 25, spotted at the 24. The Texans and wide receiver Nico Collins ready to go once again. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Pressure comes, Stroud. Collins there to grab it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Here's Stroud on first and 10. Finds a seam down the middle. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. The big plane at some 17 yards. And it sets up a Houston first. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate. But it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces. But it can pay big dividends. Pushing for the red zone. And he's all the way down to the 10-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. No frills, nothing fancy. That was just a good old offensive line dominated in the trenches. And that sprung them to get to the second level and beyond. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Down the left sideline he goes. And he's out of bounds at the three. Nearly got to the end zone there. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. So from the three, here's second and goal.
Now it's ground. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And now it'll be third and goal. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Shotgun now for Stroud. And he drops it in the end zone. The look was there on third down. Instead, it's incomplete. Yeah, that's one that's going to haunt him. There's just no question about it. A drop touchdown in the end zone. Now comes the mental toughness part of it. You've got to flush that play quickly so you can make an impact later. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that stretches the lead to 21. In that close, in the red zone, you know they're upset. They couldn't finish the drive with the touchdown. It's only half the points, but at least there's something to show for the possession. has it all set up for the kickoff. Turpin with a return. The return manages to get just beyond the 30. They've got first down from the 31. Rush now. Hopkins isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. It's an early advantage for the Texans. Back to AT&T Stadium in just a moment. Second quarter all set to begin, and it'll be Cowboys football. They have second down behind the sticks. Trying again, following the sack. Well, that's a major missed opportunity for the offense and a sigh of relief for the defense. They've got to adjust a little bit, get some extra help on the back end of your defense to take those shots away. This one falls incomplete. That's somebody they're going to look for if he has any space deep. That space, though, Kate, just disappeared between when he let that pass go and when he actually made it down the field. The Cowboys setting out their punting unit. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. And now he's going to call for the fair catch and take it just beyond the 30. So no return on that punt. And it's going to be Texans football. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. This round throwing here on first. This one quickly to down. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Second and three now. It on the counter. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swarming. 
Stroud now on third. That's caught for the first. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Dell now, in motion right. He fires one deep down the middle. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. And that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL game before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Stroud will throw again on second. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40 yard line. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. A give to Mixon up the middle. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Markers reset, ball at the 37. First down, Stroud. Finding Collins. And he's going to be taken down in a long shot at the 25. It's a pickup on 11. And the Texans are going to have a first down. From the gun, Stroud. Schultz with the catch. And they get this down to the 12-yard line before being stopped. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on the route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after it. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. Nixon on the toss. Escapes a defender. And he only gets this one down to the nine. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. It's mixed in on second down. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. We'll get a stoppage now. Looks like we have someone banged up after that run in need of some attention. Here they come. This is third and five. To the air, Stroud. And he will score a touchdown, Houston. The Texans continue dominating in our opening half. Slate route as it does so many times every game we call, Brock. Paying dividends made that touchdown look a lot easier than it was. An uncontested release that close to the end zone spells disaster for a defense every time, Kate. You got to have a whole lot more physicality at the point of attack because a QB is always going to be looking for that short little slant near the goal line. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Oh, 
Right down the middle. It's good. And the Texans grow their lead yet again. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Returning in from the 16. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Rush. It's taken in by Lamb. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little shorter than 35. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Second and six coming up here. Here's Rush. Here's Rush to throw. He fires one deep down the left side. And yeah, that's going to be knocked away incomplete. That one vehemently swatted away. And that makes it fourth down. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU. But as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. Hunt team is on now, and they get this away. Fair catch made a little beyond the 20-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Blitz coming for Stroud. Complete down to the right side. And looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Tackle made by Trayvon Diggs. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. He finds Woods. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. Shroud. He puts a mare under this one deep right. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. So now then, after the penalty, this is first and goal. From the red zone now. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. Nico Collins, the intended target. And it'll be second and goal, still a couple of shots at this one. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Running with Mixon out of the gun. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. 
I've talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet, have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Now Stroud on third and goal. And that one's incomplete for now. It brings up fourth. Let's see what this penalty play is all about. All right, so they like the results on the field, and they're going to decline this penalty. Kaimi Fairbairn out there now to try a field goal for the Texans on this fourth down. High percentage look for him here from the left hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they didn't even need those points when you look at how impressive that lead is. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. set up for the kickoff. Turpin with a return. They'll begin from the 36 as the return is brought down. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. They go play action here. Oh, he put some heat on this deep ball left side. That was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Putting a receiver in motion. Second and ten now. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Trying to get that one is Edie Lamb. And things look tougher now with third and long. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams would call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you've got to count on those being efficient and effective. Okay, you can give him much of the credit for this early lead. Heck, give every player on that defense now their fourth sack of this game credit. Because that ambush on the quarterback, a big reason why they're in control of this game. Ryan Anger on now to punt. And he's going to try to give his defense a long field to defend. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. He breaks the tackle. And some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. The Texans and C.J. Stroud all set to go for their next drive. They're out and set, first and ten. Now begin with a run by Mixon. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. I think we've got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he put some nice toppings on it, a play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road for what looked like a very plain play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. On the ground again with Mixon. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. 
One yard on the run, so just three yards across those last two carries. It's third and seven. Back to throw, Stroud has his man, it's Mixon. And he's gonna be brought down at the 42. He picks up 15 on the play. And it sets up a Houston first. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. On the option, here's Mixon. He's able to power this forward, but they stop him after two yards. Okay, the two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. But you're going to have to pick up the pace. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here's Brown now. Finds Woods. And he's taken down to And the Texans are going to have a first down. What's the two-minute warning from AT&T? And it's the Texans who have first and ten. Now it's Stroud. Pass caught by Mixon. Sets up a Houston first. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Complete into Collins. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. That play good for 17 on a first down. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Well, it looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Encroachment on that previous play, and that makes this a much shorter first and five. To the air yet again, it's Stroud. Has it in close. Touchdown, Houston! Ooh, baby, Brock, this one. This one has gotten well out of hand. Uh, you think so? <laughs> I think this is utter domination. Going to be a lot of questions to be answered. I'm going to guess this is a press conference the coach isn't looking forward to. Mm. now for the PAT. The point after splits the upright. And the Texans continue piling on to this lead. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Turpin with a return. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Brockies tackled just beyond that 30-yard line. Yeah. 
There's 35 seconds to go in the half as they are ready to begin their drive. To the air with Rush. It's caught, Ferguson. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. The Cowboys signaling for their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Options are open here. It's second and inches. From the 41. That's Jonathan Mingo complete. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Rush now. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. Final time out taken by the Cowboys. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. They really need some chunk yardage here on second down. Another try following the sack. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. That was a situation where he got the time in the pocket he needed. There just wasn't anyone open to throw it to. It got to the point he had two choices as that clock is going off in his head. Force a throw and risk a pick or just get rid of it and cut your losses on the play. Third and long for him here. Finally lets this one go deep left. This is caught inside the 15. We come to halftime, the Texans in unfriendly confines, but hey, they've got the lead. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a very good first half out of the Ohio State man, C.J. Stroud. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Turpin with a return. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Here comes the Cowboy offense for the opening possession of the third. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. You know, Kay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. They've got first down from the 31. Throwing, rush. Has him on the quick hitter. And this one doesn't go far. Well, that's a modest little drag route. But if you ever just need a safe, short gain on the throw, that's a go-to route to target. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Rush.
There was a window there for a moment. But boy, did they close the gap before that throw could arrive. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Here's Rush. Ooh, put some heat on that one, Brock, but it falls incomplete. You know, that was a play, Kate, right there, where you need to buy your receivers just enough time to get open along their routes and your quarterback enough time to find and hit him with the throw. Time? Well, that's not what he had. O-line couldn't hold up, and it forces the incompletion. They'll send out the punting unit. And he'll have this fair catch right along the 25. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And they'll get ready to go on offense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Out of the shotgun, a give to Mixon. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Big shot to begin the drive, has him up beyond the 40. On play action, here's Stroud. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. They'll get 31 yards on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. From the gun, Stroud. And this throw is knocked away, incomplete. He was hoping to get it to take Dell there. So second down coming up. I don't fault the look downfield at all. I mean, that's just a situation there where it's a better defensive play than the offense executing. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun now for Stroud. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Eric Kendrick's there for the tackle. Well, the odds aren't great when you throw into double coverage. Normally, you see one of the defenders make a play on the ball. Two men nearby, and that's a missed opportunity for the coverage to make an impact play. Stroud now on third. That's caught for the first. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, as they drive forward away, right now looks like it should be a win, Brock. He sure has taken advantage of a nice little chance to boost his stat line. His second touchdown of the game. Yeah, you just kind of feel these two building some trust, right? Just more and more equity. Certainly paying dividends in this one, but more than likely for more games to come. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Texans tack on seven more to their lead.
Baron Baron has it all set up for the kickoff. Turpin with a return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Lone back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, okay? They don't always get the attention they deserve on broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. Rush looking to pass. Going over the middle, but it's incomplete. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Throw came out. Why is the defense got to him? That's an incomplete pass. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they're staring at fourth and long. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And Brock, I'd say that's more of a moral victory than uh, something that's really going to affect the deficit much. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Sims now on the return. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Houston offense out and ready to set up shop. And all the touchdowns are sure going to catch some eyes around the league, but sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better as this defense tried and tried and failed and failed to find any way to slow him down. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Stroud off the play fake. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Nico Collins, the intended target. And it's going to be second down. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bat. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. Collins there to grab it. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And it sets up a Houston first. Right side, mix in with it. And he'll take it past the midfield stripe and start the push into Cowboys territory. 
Good run. Gets him seven. That brings up second and three. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Keeping it with Mixon. Only working a couple of yards past the line. Eric Kendricks there for the tackle. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. Throwing now, off play action. Go right side, Dell has it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 27 on the play. And the Texans are gonna have a first down. You wanna become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. They'll come up first and ten. So early movement from the backfield, Brock. They jumped the gun a bit. That brings out the flag. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And well, they got one of them to move that time. Play action on first down. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And in for the Houston touchdown. Three touchdown catches in one game is rare air, Brock. Safe to say most guys who retire can name every time they did that here in the NFL. Yeah, I hope he remembers it, but also remember this. Receivers, they're a dependent position. Mm -hmm. They're dependent on the guys doing their job up front. They're dependent on the quarterback putting it on the spot. And usually, when you reach a milestone like this, you'd love to share it with everybody else. And my guess, especially if they could find a way to win this one, is this receiver will celebrate it with all of his guys. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Texans continue adding on to that lead. has it all set up for the kickoff. Turpin with a return. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Cowboys and running back Rico Daddle back out now. The Cowboys have it in great field position as they come up to the line, first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Aziz Al Shire that time on the tackle. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. The intended target there was CeeDee Lamb. And now they need to get four on third down. Here's Rush to throw. He's going to loft one deep to the left. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done. Incomplete. Great defensive effort to reject that one. And fourth and four coming up. 
You know, a couple of my favorite nicknames, Kate, over the last decade in football, the Legion of Boom, obviously out in Seattle. But how about the no-fly zone that was cooking in Denver? That right there, that is a no-fly zone, trying to make the play in the end zone, and a beautiful job by the defender to knock it away. And the fair catch secure here at the 16. We don't get a return out of that punt. And they're going to take over possession. The drive will start out with a first and ten. They're going play action. He's got it to him yet again. That is cut. Sure showed off some mobility on that play. Got outside the pocket and easily found an open man. Second and six coming up here. Running left is Mixon. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, they shoot the pass to try and bring up third and short via a little more conservative ground call, but it backfired. You know, the defense, they'll look for keys up front. They fired off the line knowing a run was coming. And boy, they busted it before it could get back to the line. Going on third down, Stroud. Pass caught by Mixon. And he's brought down for a loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. The Texan set to punt. And he's going to have to hit this one from the edge of his own end zone. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. Call that punt a 52-yard effort. And the Cowboys will take over with some excellent field position. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Now a give on the counter. And he'll only find one yard up the gut. Second down. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up a defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually, you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. Back to the well again. And he works this to the 38 before going down. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. New set of downs for him at the 38. To the air with Rush. Into traffic, complete. And he gets him around six there. Kamari Lassiter getting up there to make the stop. The rookie from Georgia in on that tackle. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. And that one is incomplete. There's a flag down, though. If someone was across that line, Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. A fresh set of downs after that penalty. Here's first and ten. Running it after the penalty. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Even though that run did not net them a first down, I can promise you this, Kate. I promise you. I know how it works. They're going to circle that one. They're going to remember that one. And when they need some key yards on the ground, they'll come back to that call later. 
In a good spot here, second and inches. From the 17. It's plays like this that make him so well regarded across this league, Brock. Yeah, such just a difference-making receiver, King. Yeah. You expect him to be the target down here. You did, I did, the defenders did. But what makes him a star is even when people know his number's being called, he still finds a way to deliver. So we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to see if this was indeed a touchdown. Well, this right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we've got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? So the celebration can resume on that sideline. The touchdown stands. Brandon Aubrey now on for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Cowboys cut into the lead by another point. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Sims now on the return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Texans are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. They're out and set. First and ten. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. They're coming together a yard there. Donovan Wilson getting there for the stop. Only oh, gets a yard there to make it second and nine. The only thing I can say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. Operating from the gun, it's Stroud. Completed over the middle. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. Third down, one yard to go. set it down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Back to throw, Stroud. This one quickly to Dell. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They get 13 on the pickup. And it sets up a Houston first. Only one quarter remains in our final game of the week. That's the end of the third. It's Texans football as we start the fourth, and they hold a commanding advantage here. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. And 
This is Mixon. And they beat him to the edge. That one stopped back at the line. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing to run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. Slot man motioned over. Second and ten now. Finding Collins. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. The Texans continue adding to an insurmountable lead. Nico Collins with a touchdown. A fourth for him in this game, and one more ties the record. And that is his fourth touchdown reception of the game. And if you wonder how rare that is, only a couple of active players have ever achieved it in their careers, and it's been done less than 50 times in league history. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Extra point set right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Return starts from the 16. Some good work on that return. Brock gets this up to the 33. The Cowboys to returning their offense and this running back to the field. Ball at the 33 for first down. Rush. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Second and six coming up here. From the 37, Ferguson's got it complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest and gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Rush now. Looking for his wide receiver there. And now it's second down. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, and not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. He'll throw it yet again. On target to his back, and we go down. And then get this through midfield and start pushing into Texans territory. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Throwing now, third and two. That's caught for the first. And they make the tackle at the 38. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. That's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of gain. Throwing it again here. Lamb's got it on the sideline. And he's out of bounds just short of the 30. 
Well, that one came with a high degree of difficulty. Had to balance focusing on the catch, keeping those feet in bounds. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 32. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. I think you're seeing why they like this guy in coverage, man. He reacts well to throws and is so adept in breaking up passes right through contact or before they ever reach the target. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. To the sideline, catch secured. Oh, he made that one look easy for the first. Hey, Kay, you know this from covering the Seahawks calling their preseason game. Pete Carroll was there. If he said it once, he said it 100 times. Stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. You'll give up a short little lot route like that, but just stay on top of the deep threat. Still sticking with the passing game. He's got it near the eight. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a pickup of 26. And now they have a first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Crosses the goal line for the Dallas touchdown. The Cowboys making the scoreboard look a touch better. Well, Brock, this one has not been good to them so far, but they are still fighting and able to get in there for six. Just a drive that was all about scratching and clawing. As much as anything, Kate, it was just a pride drive to go and get your job done. For the point after, here's Aubrey. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Cowboys take seven points off the deficit. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Pierce now on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The visitors ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. A handoff for Mixon, running right. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Kate, that's the type of run that shines the light well on him as a runner, of course. And you got to give a lot of credit to everybody else. So skill guys, when you have an outside run, they got to do their job. Not just the big boys up front, not just the running backs. That takes everyone on the perimeter blocking to get a big run like that. We took a couple of guys to hold him down there after a gain of just one. We talked to running backs over the years, Kate, and transition from the college game to the pro game. I'll tell you, there's just times in the NFL you got to run into darkness. You run into a lot of bodies. Perfect example of that on the first down play. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Shroud. This is complete to Schultz. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. This defense didn't give up contain there, Kate. That was an instance where the more exciting plays were taken away downfield. And even looking to the tight end wasn't going to net them much. So now here's third and five. On play action, here's Stroud. Down with the ground. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 
27. They pick up 20 yards there. And it sets up a Houston first. And someone has officially flown higher than the Dutchman, Brock. That completion pushes him past Norm Van Brocklin for the most passing yards in a game in NFL history. The mark of 554 yards and stood resolute since back in 1951. And seven decades later, someone has finally topped it. First down, Stroud. Brought in right side. And he's tackled for a short game. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. <laughs> Good thing on a football field. Even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. To the air yet again. It's Stroud. Completed to Collins. And they get this down to the seven yard line. They'll have first and goal to go now after they gain 18 on the previous play. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl out of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. They're going to run here. It's Mixon. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. No couple way happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. Still chances to get these final four yards. It's second and goal. Here's Brown now. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And that brings up third and goal. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one, Kate. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back on track. So now, here's third and goal. Shotgun now for Stroud. Gets it towards the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think everybody in the building is already thinking about the next play to run as they watch that short throw of the tight end. That's a gimme. You don't expect to see many of those drops. Kaimi Fairbairn out there now to try a field goal for the Texans on this fourth down. It's only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And a fairly insurmountable lead grows by three more. Get another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Fairbairn has it all set up for the kickoff. Turpin with a return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Rush now to throw. Short pass brought in. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation. You also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Here's Rush to throw. No luck on the connection. It's incomplete. Not on the same page with his tight end. So that brings up second down. You know, there's not a lot of tight ends who are true weapons this far down the field. Not a lot of cover guys who can match up with them in terms of size. They tried to get it to him in a spot where he could win it. But no connection to be made. They've got a man in motion. Second and ten now. Got Lamb and it's complete. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. 
it's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Third and four coming up now. Rush. times we see these coaches after games sit there at the press conference and pull out the stat sheet and when they do they look for some anomalies and today well this head coach is going to be very proud of a defensive effort getting after the quarterback six different times six sacks and they've had a heyday in the backfield punt team on the field Brian Anger the one to send it away And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. The visitors headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. On the carry, this is Mixon. And not much doing, he stopped quickly. It's a gain of three for him. That brings up second and seven. We've reached the two-minute warning from Dallas. Texans put this one away a long time ago. Second down now, seven to go. Again to mix in up the middle. And it's a rare defensive win on the ground. He's caught the line. Stuck to the ground, but nothing gained that time. And it brings up third and seven. Not every corner in this league can make the play he just made right there. Sure, there's pure coverage guys. Not really known for their tackling, but this guy, well, he's someone who isn't afraid to stick his nose in there and make a stop. Third down, Mixon gets it. He's got the first and more past the 40. And he's finally brought down at the 45-yard line. An excellent gain, 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. You know, it is so refreshing for these running backs when they have space to run. It's hard. There's so many collisions between the tackles. When they get on the edge and have green grass, well, the best of them take advantage of it. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Mixon on the counter. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, Kate, sorting through traffic, seeking out a runner. That is this guy's domain. And boy, does he know how to operate in it. Back to the line they go. It's second down. So the Texans come away with a road win. And with the start they had in that first quarter, Brock, it is no surprise to see them come away with a victory at the end. They really did all they could to put this out of reach early.